Here are five ways you may be ruining your outfit. Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'm Serena and today's video is sponsored by Sleep and Glow. And you guys know I love Sleep and Glow. I've worked with them in the past and more from them in just a few minutes. No, I am not in my closet. <laughs> I get asked that a lot when I'm sitting here with these clothes and shoes behind me. This is actually my filming room. It's a multi-purpose room. I do my filming in here, my desk, my laptop is in here. I even have a little cubby with my dog crates in here because they like to come in here and hang out with me while I'm working. I had a custom organization solution installed in here last year just to help corral all the clothes and shoes and things that I need for my videos. So I've got this closet type section on this wall. I have my desk looking out the window. I have a little futon in here that will fold out to a bed in case I needed it. And the closet is over here. Here is more storage with shoes and then just circle it on around to where I'm sitting now. But this is my lady cave, I guess you would call it. This is all mine. And my husband has his man cave upstairs. This is my room. I've been using this pillow for almost a year, and that is the Sleep and Glow Omnia pillow. And it's become one of those things that I just can't live without. With traditional pillows, you know, if you're a side sleeper like me, you're laying on the pillow, pillow smooshes your face, and you wake up either with the creases in your face or you have those wrinkles where, you know, your cheek has been smushed, your eye has been smushed, even your forehead. And over time, those creases can become permanent in our skin, and we don't need any extra wrinkles. Sleeping glass patented design has this cradle where your face literally floats in air. It supports your neck and head and its orthopedic design keeps your neck in correct alignment during sleep if you sleep on your side. It also helps with morning puffiness. I used to have a real problem waking up in the morning with my eyes being puffy. And since I started using the Sleep and Glow pillow, that problem has gone away. Because I lay on this pillow, my face is just floating in this cradle, and I don't wake up with the puffiness around my eyes, and I don't have the sheet wrinkles or the creases in my face. Every woman deserves to feel and look beautiful. Not for everyone else, but for ourselves. And with March 8th being International Women's Day, Sleep and Glow has a special discount. You can use the code SERENA15 and receive 15% off your purchase of the Omnia pillow. The Omnia pillow has different pillowcases. It comes with a tinsel pillowcase. You can get this copper infused pillowcase that I'm using here on this one, or even a silk pillowcase. I have that one too. I kind of swap back and forth between the silk one and the copper one. But the silk one is really good for your hair and skin, especially your hair. It helps prevent flyaways and helps keep your hair moisturized because a cotton pillowcase really depletes your skin and hair of moisture, whereas silk and copper will not. So use my link down in the description and my code SERENA15 to save 15% on your Sleep and Glow Omnia pillow purchase. Now let's get back to the video. You may have a great outfit put together to wear somewhere special or just to go to work or go out to dinner or shopping and you think you're looking pretty good, but here are five things that you might be doing that can ruin an outfit. And these are very important. They're simple things, but things that I see overlooked all the time, practically on a daily basis. So what are they? Let's get started. The number one thing that I see all the time that is a big mistake that can just really ruin your outfit, especially with dresses, and that is always wearing black shoes. Yes, black is a neutral, and black goes with a lot of things, but there is no worse thing to do than to put on a pretty <laughs> dress and even like this dress that has a navy background, you might think, oh, black goes with this just fine. But 
when I have on these black kind of chunky heel pumps with this dress, where does your eye go? It goes straight to those shoes. It just makes your feet look kind of heavy and clunky and it just draws the eye down. And that's not what we're trying to do. We want to draw the eye up. We want people to see the pretty dress we have on. We don't want the eye to be drawn down to a pair of dark black heavy shoes. So, you guys know that I love a nude shoe, and yes, nude comes in lots of color ranges, but find a nude shoe that matches your skin tone, and that is the best choice to wear with a dress like this. If you're going to church, going to a wedding, going to a wedding or baby shower, any kind of function like this where you're wearing like a pretty floral dress, you don't want to ruin it with a pair of heavy black shoes. So one option you could wear with a dress like this is a pair of slide sandals with a heel. These are some that I picked up recently from Target and they're very much on trend. They have a little pearl detail on the sandal, very sweet and pretty. So these work really well. They just blend in with the color of my legs but depending on your skin tone these may not so pick a skin tone color that matches you but I think what I really prefer with a dress like this is a strappy heel sandal and these are from dream pairs they are inexpensive but these just kind of disappear and yes there are some times that you might want to put on a fun shoe and let that be the star of the show but in this case, I think neutral and a quiet shoe is better. Number one, it lets the dress shine, and number two, it lengthens your legs and just makes you look taller. Now, there are times when black pumps are perfect, you know, if you're wearing them with a pair of black or dark slacks, or maybe you're wearing a suit. You know, if you work in a professional environment and you're wearing a suit, I probably would still stick with a nude shoe, but black or navy could be appropriate with that. But with this kind of look, I really think a nice nude sandal is the way to go. The second mistake that I see every day that people make that are just really dragging down their outfits is carrying the wrong bag. Now, I'm not saying that we need a different bag for every occasion or every day or every outfit, but you just want to match the casualness or dressiness of the outfit to your bag. In this example, you know, I've got on a satiny blouse and slacks and I look like I might be going to work or something. And then I've got on this really casual crossbody bag. You know, it's got the wide floral guitar strap and then it's in this brown kind of pebbled leather looking material. It's just a much more casual bag and it just does not go with the vibe of this outfit. A much better choice is going to be a leather handbag, maybe in black to match my pants and shoes, but it doesn't have to be black, but just something with a little bit more refinement. You know, this bag, this one is from J. Crew, but it has a slimmer strap, so that instantly makes it look a little bit more dressy. And it just has cleaner lines. And it's a smooth leather, not that pebbled, casual looking leather. So this goes with the outfit just much better. The other day I went into the grocery store and I was walking in behind a lady and you know, it was late in the afternoon and I could tell that she had just come from work. She had on, you know, a pair of black slacks and a blouse and then some kind of jacket or sweater over the top. So she was dressed professionally. <laughs> and she was carrying one of the Lululemon, you know, nylon crossbody belt bags like this. You see these everywhere. I know they're popular for a reason. You can be hands-free. They hold a lot for the size they are, but this is not the right bag to carry or to wear 
with your professional work outfit. It just looked so wrong. And I thought, girl, you know, I know that you love your Lululemon belt bag, but please don't carry it to work. Or maybe, you know, stick it down in a more structured bag or something like that. So it just looked off. And here is another example. And I see this all the time too. I'm back in that same floral dress and I've got on my nude shoes, but I'm carrying this big tote bag. And I have seen this so many times and it just ruins the look. And yes, this is my Louis Vuitton Never Full tote bag and they are expensive, but this is a rookie mistake that I see all the time. People confuse expensive with fancy. And just because something is expensive does not mean it's fancy. So yes, this is an expensive bag, but it does not go <laughs> with this outfit. This is a bag you could carry to work, you know, a tote bag for day-to-day -day running around. But if you're wearing a dress and a pair of heels to go to an event, you don't need a big tote bag. Carry a smaller, more structured bag. This one is from Amazon and it is very affordable. It's a designer look-alike bag but you know it's less than 40 or 50 dollars and if you're going to church or a wedding or a shower or something you don't need to carry a tote bag full of things you know all you need is you know some cards your keys lipstick phone a small bag is all you need so that is mistake number two, carrying the wrong bag with your outfit. If you're enjoying this video and would like to see more like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on anything here on my channel. And even if you are subscribed or you think you are, double check because I have heard from several people that they thought they were subscribed, but when they went to check, they for some reason had been unsubscribed. And I know that YouTube does that periodically. They will go through and like unsubscribe people from channels if you haven't been active in a while. So be sure to check and make sure that you are subscribed. The third mistake that people make that ruin their outfit is not paying attention to grooming. You can be dressed up and have on an amazing outfit and all the right accessories, but if you have chipped nail polish, hair with split ends that needs a trim, or your roots are grown out two inches and they need a touch up, you know, that is really going to ruin your look. So make sure if you're wearing sandals that you have polish on your toes, or at least your toenails are neat and clean and you don't have calluses and all that dry skin. Make sure to keep up with your pedicures, whether you do them at a salon or at home, if you're going to wear sandals. And make sure that your nail polish or your nails aren't chipped, they aren't broken. Make sure that your hair is clean and freshly trimmed doesn't have dead ends or split ends and make sure that you know you, your roots are not grown out an inch or two and pay attention to skin care and hair care because at our age yeah there's no excuse for not knowing <laughs> that skin care is very important the fourth way you may be ruining your outfit and this is kind of a pet peeve of mine and it's something that i notice on the daily every time i go out of the house and that is wearing your athletic trainer sneakers with your casual outfits. There is nothing worse than putting on a cute outfit and then strapping on your big chunky <laughs> hokas or new balances like mine and wearing those with your outfit. It immediately just drags down your outfit and takes away, you know, about 20 style points <laughs> for anything that you've got going on good in your outfit, then those sneakers are just going to pull it down. And there's really no excuse for this because I know that we want to be comfortable and I know that a lot of people, including me, have foot issues. But there are so many options now when it comes to fashion sneakers. You don't have to wear your walking shoes or running shoes with your casual outfits. These sneakers are a designer inspired pair. These are from Dream Pairs and I have them in this black woven pattern and in white. 
but these just look so much better with this outfit. And a thick sole sneaker is what you want to wear with wide leg jeans like this. So these are perfect. You just don't want it to be your athletic trainers. And if you're not into the platform sole sneakers, you know, a classic pair of leather sneakers will work just as well. And you can spend a lot of money on these or a little on these. And I will link several pairs that are my favorites of all different price ranges down in the description box today. So no matter what your style is or whether you're wearing shorts or a cute little dress, sneakers can be really cute and stylish, but not your athletic sneakers. Be sure to get a comfortable and cute pair of fashion sneakers instead. The next one, this is one that I, I just don't understand it, but I still see it every day in the summertime and that is visible bra straps. And especially when they're really bright colored <laughs> visible bra straps. And I see this all the time and I get it. We don't want to always wear a strapless bra if we have on something sleeveless, but there are ways around this. I have a wonderful strapless bra. It's this one from the Wacol brand. It's called the Red Carpet Convertible Strapless Bra, I think. I'll link it down below, but it is great. It stays up. It's not uncomfortable. I can wear it and not, you know, feel like I'm in some kind of torture device. The other thing you can do is get a racerback style bra. And this one is also from Wacol. I'll put a couple of those down in the description as well that I really like. And they're perfect for summertime with tank tops because depending on how a tank top or a sleeveless top is cut, you know, your bra straps will be peeking out on the sides. And I know some people don't care, but I think it's just one of those things that drags down your outfit. And it's such an easy fix. If you get that racerback bra, it's going to keep the bra straps between your shoulder blades and you don't have to worry about them peeking out on your shoulders or slipping down. And part B of the bra issue is wearing an ill-fitting bra. This is something that I see every day too, golly. And especially as we age, ladies, we've got to make sure that we have on a bra that fits us and is providing adequate support. I know that lounge bras like these are comfortable and I wear them at home, but only at home <laughs> do I wear these. If I have on any kind of clothing and I'm going out in public, I have on a proper bra that is going to lift and support. And yes, I wear underwire bras, but I have found some that I truly love and that are comfortable. Probably my favorite one is this one by Natori. It's called the Bliss Perfection Bra. Y'all, this is so comfortable. You will forget that you're wearing an underwire bra, but it provides great support. The cups are nice and soft. It's just the band and the straps are nice and stretchy. It really feels good and provides great support because you, you're gonna look heavier and your clothes are just not gonna look as good if if the girls are down, you know, grazing your waist. <laughs> you gotta keep those girls up and perky. And you also want to get new bras every year. And I know that's money to spend that you may not want to, but the bras that you wear the most, they do get stretched out and they're not providing the support that they did when they were brand new. Now I'm not saying throw out all your bras every year, but you know the ones that you reach for every day. If you have a favorite bra and and you wear it most of the time and you've had it for a year, that thing is stretched out and you probably need a new one. So go get a proper bra fitting, know your bra size and get a good supportive bra. It will make a world of difference in all your outfits. And the last thing that is ruining your look, and I really don't know how we are still here talking about this in 2024. This has been an issue for decades, and we have so many great ways around it now, and that is visible panty lines. Yikes. There is nothing worse, and especially in a pair of light colored pants and somebody has on, 
you know, those granny panties that have the elastic cutting into their cheeks. It's, it's just horrible. You guys know what I'm talking about. You've seen it. it, it it's terrible. And there's really no excuse for it because we have so many options. You know, we have thong if you want to wear one. I used to wear hanky panky thongs exclusively and they are comfortable. You really don't feel them and I still have some in case I want to wear them, but those are the best thongs hands down period end of story. <laughs> Look no further and I'll link those down below and my favorite now is the seamless laser cut panties. And I get mine from a company called Neway and they're not sponsoring today, but I love these so much that I have a lot of these now. And it's time for me to order some more because I've used them so much and washed them so much, it's time. A laser cut panty, see it has no elastic. No elastic at the waist, no elastic at the legs. So it doesn't have that seam that's gonna cut into you and create those panty lines. And these are stretchy, stretchy. And these are called the Barely Zero. They come in a higher waist version, but these are the mid-rise brief. And on me being petite, they do come up to my belly button. So they come in a wide variety of colors. They have every color of nude you can imagine to match your skin tone. And I love them. <laughs> I wear them practically every single day. I love these. And they are made of a stretchy nylon, but they have a cotton crotch. So they're extremely comfortable and you don't get a wedgie with them. They don't roll down. I can't say enough good things about them. So check those out and I promise you will be panty line free in all your outfits. Thanks again to Sleeping Glow for sponsoring today. Remember, use my code Serena15 and you'll get 15% off your purchase. And I'll put that in the description box along with the link. Thanks again for joining me today. I appreciate you. And until I see you in my next video, have a stylish day. Bye.